Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2023-24 Bowls New South Wales State Championships. You're with Benny Two Shoes and joining me this morning for the Women's uh, Singles Semi-Final. Bowls Australia Club Support Manager, Mr Jason Pinnock. Good morning, Benny. Uh, great day coming up today. Uh, four games live streamed we've got today, so plenty of action. Um, stay tuned. Don't miss any of it. It will be a cracking day of bowls. Yeah, Super Sunday as we're calling it. Uh, all four four finals in the uh, in the state sections uh, coming up uh, this morning. We're looking at uh, Dawn Heyman once again made it to another final and uh, well deserving on the TV rink against Louise Cronin from Tarrant Point who uh, has won through beautifully. I'm just going to... Oh, there we are. So we're just kicking off now. Uh, just to give you an update of what's actually happening here, today, four games, we'll watch the women's uh, women's semi and then the men's semi uh, straight after this, or one of the men's semis, and then the two finals this afternoon as well. So four games for you to enjoy. A huge Sunday of lawn bowls for you. Oh. Straight away, Dawn Heyman. And there we go. Um, first bowl, front knocker. Well, she's won 19 games out of 19 so far. That is some Isn't effort. Isn't it unreal? Some effort. Um, and back-to-back, -back, she's had no break whatsoever. Mixed pairs, into triples, into pairs, now into singles. All the different formats. She's uh, something else, this lady. And Louise Cronin, no slouch herself, by the way. She uh, won through pretty heavily, pretty strongly in her section. And uh, so this should be a, do we get to say a ding-dong battle? I haven't heard that term for a while. Yes, most <laughs> definitely. Um, most definitely. But as you see Dawny putting a second bowl down here. Oh, good Lord. If this keeps up. <clears throat> yeah, the pressure's on straight away. So we've got Heyman versus Cronin. Now Wheatley versus... Uh, Boykowski in uh, from East Leighton, Wyong versus East Maitland at hopefully 11 o'clock, depending on the length of this game and uh, the game next door. And then and then there's women's singles and then the men's singles. Andrew Lynn will be joining you for those two in the afternoon, which is nice of him. And then for those of you who are interested in the other ones, the seniors, the Open Reserve, they, get, they kick off at 10 o'clock uh, down at... Uh, over at the other two clubs, so at Macquarie Club and then uh, and then North Double RSL Sporties over at Sporties, and their finals will be tomorrow and will be live streamed as well. So once you find out who they are, we'll let you know. Wow, look at that for grouping. That cluster of bowls, <laughs> amazing. And just kicked off straight away. She's not even yep. kidding, not kidding around this lady. So next door is the other lady semi final um, taking place uh, where we have. Cheryl Lee Stewart from West Tamworth taking on Sarah Boddington. Sarah, also a winner of this event. Um, so she's looking to grab another singles title. And we will have the scoreboards up on screen soon, so you'll be able to... Uh, keep track of her as well, Keep yep. track of that, that game next door as well. Boom. There we go. So kicking around once again at uh, in the Dubbo Regional Council. Uh, I think I said the other night I had a went and did the ghost tour at the prison, which was fantastic. It's just a great evening. Uh, zoos here and Dubbo Regional Council, great supporters of this. I'm going to say that's at least one, probably one. Yeah, I think it is only the one. So. Yep. Wonder Heyman to start. And good playing conditions for the players today. There's very, very little breeze, minimal. Um, not cool, but not warm either. So perfect playing conditions. Player comfort level will be at pretty high. So, Yeah, it's um, once again, the grain keepers have done their, their magic as they have been doing for the last couple of weeks. I was saying this morning we're on the downward stretch, but yeah, it feels like there's a lot to go. Lots of action here still to come at the uh, state championships. There's They've been out and they've washed down around. We had a bit, millimetre rain overnight, nothing uh, serious, but they've been out washing the pathways and, and rolling all since early this morning. Place has just presented perfectly again. Yep. So 
well done to the team here at Club Dubbo. And look at the conditions of green. Yeah. It's heavy use. Like 12 days in now, 13 days, yep. 12, something like that. Yeah, massive use. And yet, not a blemish on the green. So Louise finishing a bit wide there. Good weight, both players. Oh, geez, doing his correction of a couple of feet. He's pretty spectacular once again. She's an absolute joy to watch, this lady. Trent Whittingham, morning, mate. Yeah, good to see you, Trento. Uh, Dave Shaw, good morning from Nambo again. <laughs> Kyle Langley. <laughs> Fans back together. Benny Two Shoes in the male model. <laughs> On you, Kyle. Glad you're here, mate. Good to hear from you. Uh, go Dorney, we've got Mark Arl, Sandra Bruce, hello again, good morning, and and Chapo, go Louise, yeah, Tarrant Point will have a big following here, when the club opens, uh, as everyone gets out of church at about, I don't know, when, when does church finish? <laughs> I don't know either, mate. I couldn't tell you, sorry. <laughs> so, we'll just see Louise here, just getting a little bit wide on that hand already, we're just finding that hand Holding early on, still obviously a little bit moist on top. It did a bit yesterday too, you yep. was holding a bit on that side. We've uh, moved across to the right, away from the ditcher. Uh, another half rink maybe? Oh yeah, at least a half rink. At least rink. a half rink, maybe yep. two lines. We'll be here all day between this one and maybe half a rink across as well. So. Yeah, well done, Dawn. Dawny sitting there for four. Big bowl here early mm. for Louise. Um, really wanting to get cut this count down, get the shot. So she's on a pretty good track. It just comes down to her, her weight here. Oh, this looks way she's better. Coming back here, Louise Cronin. Oh, no, get she's some of that. Hole. A little bit unlucky. So she's definitely, I think she might have cut it, that front one of Dawny's out there. I love watching Dawny walk down. You watch Dawn's body language. She's so focused. She's put up three. Yeah, three shots. So, no, fortunate Louise in that last one. She was close. So, 4 0 to Dorney already. And haven't we seen how ruthless she is when she has got a lead? Absolutely murderous, mate. She's. Uh... So, early on here already, we're um, very important for Louise to. Get a couple close early here. Try and try and rattle this end off straight away. You don't want Dorney getting out or five six shot lead uh, on you early in a game. Important to really stay stay close to Dawn. Yes. Just watching where Dawn is going there. She Sunny's got some marks on him, so she's off to visit Tom. Uh, didn't even watch that bowl finish. Actually, <laughs> she's there cleaning the Sunnies. Tom showing up on the. Uh, Right line podcast yesterday too, by the looks. Louise down pretty well, yep. just a metre over. A little bit more. She did stay up on the edge of the ditch there, so handy bowl to start with. Yeah. Well, there's Gilligan. There's a uh, Dorney support crew shows up. Yeah, he has not missed a single session. Has not missed a session. Has not games. left her side. It's played with her, and then been here for every single game that she's played. So that's that's brilliant support, especially. You can imagine mentally, and f not just physically, but mentally, Dorney, you know, she's got to go through a lot, so it's great to have that support crew on the sideline. Yeah, these state <laughs> championships are no joke as far as um, as far as far the way your mental preparation goes, and to have uh, have a good support crew, vital. Louise just needs to get up here a little bit more. She's still running. I think she's yep. snuck a shot, so great bowl there, Louise. What kind of bowlers are they? Look tailorish to they you. They do look, look tailorish. I'm just looking at right down the bottom there. That it's got that little sort of wave pattern. Yeah, I'll see if I can find it in a sec. Dawn Heyman just Dorney. playing a very nice weight. Oh, Great just, bowl. Just tap herself through. Yeah, just casually. Just her weight control has been impeccable. <laughs> Fiona Stewart Butcher, Butcher saying, uh, "Morning, Ben and Jace. Looking forward to watching some more Dawning Magic." Yeah, Dawny Magic's what we've been calling it, because that's what it seems like sometimes here. Just magic. And you're right. And 
and talking to talking to the spectators and even other players, they are they're just an, um, amazed at how well uh, Dorney's been playing in these championships. Oh, it stops. Yep. Look, and don't get me wrong, we're sitting here surrounded by amazing players. You know, Sarah Boddington next door, and and whatnot. But uh, and Louise is again no slouch at all. When but the superlatives run out when you see what yep. she's doing is capable of, and we're talking her up a fair bit. Look at this one. Wow. Well, what she's done there, a little bit of a target now. Louise can use that. Yeah, she's got the two best backs. But she'd be just can... looking to flop in off of that bowl now. Yeah. Dorney would have loved for that to get right in behind Jack. So she might come down to wait. Just got to run this a little bit further, Louise. We're talking 20 centimetres away, yep. so not a bad effort, but I think she may still be two down. Mark is certainly lining that up. Well, going to a measure. Sun poking through the clouds over here now. I'm just going to lower the blind slightly so that we don't get cooked. This office warms up pretty quickly. So we yep. see on the ring next door that the scores have been updated live and immediately today. So obviously don't have as many rinks to look after today. So <laughs> we can keep that live scoreboard uh, down there up to date as each end is completed. What, what's cool about West Dubbo, where we are now, at, the, uh, at Club Dubbo, is a lot of the markers are actually, they're not on to this afternoon, but they're here. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's how much they're, they're loving the bowls and loving this championship right now. It's great. One of the ladies out there saying she's gonna she's coming in her uh, normal clothes and have a quick costume change this afternoon and looking forward to marking the games. But she's just come to sit down and have a coffee and watch the watch the bowl. So if you're in town and you're up at up at this hour, get down here. Jeez, Dawn, great start, Dawny. Kind of waiting for her to make a mistake at this point. It's just the sun really poking through now. Look at that bright, shiny. As it clears the clouds. Yeah, so we do have a fair bit of cloud cover here. No rain predicted, I don't think, today. No, no. I don't mind this, and it's warming up through the week too. So the fours comps, if you're coming up for the fours, it's going to be warm. 31 degrees uh, for the next three days after this. So that bowl there just dropping in the eye. So Dorney will be swapping hands. John Bagnall from Foster watching. Alexander Allen from Bonnie, Scotland. Do you like my accent? Yeah, you <laughs> did that really well, Benny. <laughs> Hanging out with a guy named Campbell Connell a lot. Kathy Betcher saying, go Sarah Bonington. Sandra Bruce coverage has been fantastic. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Sandra. I appreciate that feedback. I know you hear a lot too, so that's wonderful to hear. So, I always get my way from Sandra in the morning. I think Louise, yeah, she's just pushed down that wide line. Obviously, Dorney's second bowl. Just visually got in her eyes, so it made her push a little bit wide. Dawn's still holding that one at the back. You can definitely see that down, down to our right as we look at the from the commentary position. From she just has to run here. So she might, yeah, she's got it fat. Which well, is if it wasn't here. shot, I think it is now. Yeah, I still can't see it actually down there because the mark's just standing in the way. But the camera angles can be deceptive. So Louise swapping hands here as well. Just needs to run up here. She can get... Oh, just cut. Yeah, she did. could have got the inside edge of that and, and ran on. She had to wait for that. Yeah, it was a real late cut. There's a... Yeah. I'll just pop up and see see what the breeze is doing. We're not predicting a lot of wind today. But uh, there is a breeze starting now from the south. Okay, so Dorney's adjusted immediately. Just a matter if she pulls up. Yep. Yep, and she has. That will be the shot. I'm looking down here, I'd suggest Maybe two. two. We're here now from the uh, marker. No, one. One only. Yep. So Louise here, just really needing to adjust that grass, and she's out on a good line. Yep, that's a good track. If she's got a similar weight to it, no, she knows she's not impressed. So just dropped it a little short. So it looks like one to, oh, one to Louise it was. There you go. Tawny handing over the mat. I'm looking out the window. It looks very, very dawny-ish, but there you go. There, no arguments. 
Sorry, viewers, we got that one wrong. <laughs> yeah, we just looked at the wrong way, that's all. It's, yeah, wow. So Louise has opened up her account. Let's see what tactics she employs here with uh, length. So, oops. Jump to there. So she has thrown the jack a little bit shorter than what Dawn's been throwing it. Matt up a bit too, so it's not a minimum length, but just over between medium and minimum. It's not a bad idea in the early in the game, by the way, when you're feeling the, the, the green out. Just go a little shorter and try to find some control first. often find it's easier to go from short to long than long to short, um, personally. But as Dawny's bowl runs down here, these girls aren't messing around either. This is going quick. They are going very quick. Quick on the mat. Quick to make decisions at the head. Dawny just running through. But here's that little breeze I was talking about. It's not much. Yeah. Insignificant, in all honesty, at this stage. Yeah, it's not going to make a difference. Just enough to help dry the top of the surface out, maybe. Yeah, and it'll change quickly, too. With only, only a mill of water overnight. Louise Cronin just needs to run right up to this, well and she has. Great bowl, Louise. She's in a good position there. Yeah. So it's going to force a change of hand. No, Dawny's staying on the back end. Looks to be an aggressive line here. Is he just trying to turn Louise onto the jack or under for the jack herself? Oh, she's missed by an inch. By nothing, yeah. <laughs> so I think Louise would be really wanting to get back to Dawn's bowls there now. Yeah, she's put it out of that line. She can get to them bowls as well as count, so... Look at that drop. turn we're getting there. Yeah, early. just going to drop straight on the jack. There is a there okay. is a gust, so I'm watching gusts of wind come through. Nothing constant. There's going to be a weighted shot here. Yeah. Aggressive, I believe. Not overly. Probably similar to her second bowl. Just going to run jack back to her own, I think. Well, she can. She's got options there now. So she got the inside of that. Inside of that. Oh, dropped in. I think. Sure. I don't think she shot. I think the front one's still. But still three back there. We'll find out now. Yep, one to, one to Louise. One to Louise, so... So I'd, just, I'd be playing the same hand. I think there's no other choice. She doesn't want to move Jack back to Dorney. Maybe push her bowl up, cover Jack a little bit, or sit amongst Dorney's bowls at the back. Yeah, she's on a very wide line here, yeah. so... As long as she's behind, it could be in a good spot. She has put yep. her in a good home. Yep. She hasn't really restricted so, the three, potentially, but if Jack goes out no. further, then it should be okay. So Dawn will be playing something similar again with yeah. that metre of weight. Maybe two foot. She can get inside edge of the current shot bowl. Jack clean down the line a foot. Not wrong. I feel like can, can Silverdale, from Silverdale, welcome. Vicky Lee, uh, Maxwell from Ballina. Go Wendy Clark. Wendy Clark will be playing the seniors <coughs> later on at 10 o'clock today. Here comes Dawn. She's got that... She does have that weight. Does she have the weight? Just, yeah, she just got she a hold of does. it does. Oh, my God. Look at that. Well, Dawny Heyman, what a shot. One down. At least two. So I'll have a quick look. Two it is. Two signaled. So. Just watch that again because that was a... Just a... This is the exact shot she needed to play, clearly. She does it so clinically. I didn't think that was... I actually, at that point right there, didn't think it was going to make it. And then it just crosses a bit, touches Jack down and back. Three-shot conversion. That is uh, well done. Morning, Lisa Burton. Good to see you, mate. So, yes, for our viewers, we it is the first to 25. We don't play to ends in singles. We play to, we play to shots, so... That's First it. to 25 shots. That's why the ends aren't listed on the board there. But, yeah, race to 25 is how I like to put it. Oh, Dawn. Dawn. <laughs> that is a perfect start. First bowl every time. Back toucher. Right behind Jack. No target. Oh, I thought Louise was on a good track there. It wasn't a bad track, just lacked the weight. Yeah, good effort. Usable. Hasn't turned Dawny over there by the looks. Dawny's still not happy with the glasses. <laughs> no, that's right. Well, it's still a bit humid out there because we're getting the sun and the and the moisture lift. She might be getting wow. some fogging. <laughs> Jeez. 
inch what do you say about this inch perfect that's just I'm more of a metric man so I'll just say centimetre perfect <laughs> committee isms okay Louise she's on a good track here and she's got a good weight here she yes. pushed that jack through and go with it great shot Louise she might still Brilliant be down conversion. but has opened it back up for herself great bowl Louise Getting the highlights package already, we're only a few ends in. So we see a few Tarrant Point supporters now on the sideline. Only just a bit short. Ray Pierce is here, obviously supporting his teammate from Tarrant Point. Ray will feature in our next men's semi final. Yep, he'll be on the rink next door, yep. Yep. Not on our oh, live stream, he'll be on the rink next door, but... Okay. Dorney with one. Got a very good line here. Yeah, very good line, very good weight. Yeah. She's still left, that's probably... Yeah, it's a foot and a half. Yeah, mat length. I like to call that mat length. <laughs> yep. So two down to Louise. They're just watching the marker there. So Dorney holding two, the front one and the side one. A little bit, a uh, little bit of weight here, which is not a bad option. She can pump herself up. It was an aggressive line. I'm not sure about the weight actually. It's still coming. Yeah, very aggressive line, wasn't it? But yeah, not. Not enough weight to be up here. She could have afforded to be through there, you know, push Dorney through and stay herself. But anyway. Yeah, the shot selection was great. Just uh, just didn't quite throw it hard enough. So two to Dorney again. She's first to 10, 10, 1 at the moment. They have played six ends. I'll just make sure that I've got that score right. The, the um, volunteers and I agree. I'll have to keep track of that. 10, 1 it is, yep. The Turner's over there doing a good job as always. Uh, all my scoreboards are working correctly today, mate. That's yep, and up to date. Takes a lot of pressure off. <laughs> Brilliant, mate. Great so, start to the day. That's it. So 3-1 uh, next door. To uh, Shirley Stewart from West Tamworth. Um. 4-1 now, actually. 4-1, there you go. Yep. It is two, yep. So, Dawn with an uncharacteristically crossed the head straight away. <laughs> straight away, they're all over it. We've got someone out there on that uh, live scoring. So, opportunity yeah, here for yeah. Louise. We could say that that's a miss by Dawn. <laughs> Oh, jeez, all right. Getting some comments here. I'm just going, going to go through a few. Uh, 25 for the win, Trevor. Yep, I think we went through that. S saw your uh, question, so good one. Uh, Carmen Plaza saying, go Dorney. Lisa Burton on. Joyce Ebbick. Sue Hopkins, welcome. Jared Gorsuch, how many will West Coast get beaten by today? It's at home, so it's not the 10 goals I'd normally expect, so we'll just say six. How about that? My uh, eldest daughter, Giants fan as well. Uh, very good head. What have we got? Graham Miller, good morning. Ann Seymour and Jason, good morning. Yep, good morning, Ann. Always good to see you here. Uh, yeah, she's home safe and well. I was getting some Snapchats from her yesterday. She's very happy to be home. Uh, Ronald Greens need massive descriptions. Yeah, go Mrs. Webb to be. Great shot, Louise, from uh, Elise. I think that's how I say that. And Mary Ingram from Fife in Scotland, as always. She's one of the tragics. Uh, one of our tragics, the... The uh, Bowles New South Wales constant viewers. I've got to get to five. I'm going to look, look up Mary Ingram and go and say hi. Okay, Louise just needs to pull back now. She's oh, got yeah. Great weight here. Shot. Brilliant shot, Louise Cronin. Staring down the barrel there of three down, so... Make Dorney work a bit hard here. Yep, that's a great conversion. And this is a very aggressive line. We know this hand's turning, so she has got good weight on this, but it's still turning. Oh, no. Let's see what happens. Anything could happen. No, it's just not out. That's it. 
So we'll see Louise stay on the same hand and probably try and get to Dawn's Blue Bowl. So this is Louise's, uh, Louise's conversion. Perfect line. Perfect weight. Well executed. Takes Jack back and just carries on for one. And I'll just get this off the screen as her second one finishes. It's going to bounce into the front and not do much. Okay, so Louise with another one. So the score line goes to 10 2. Susan and Pamela, giant supporters here, Susie and Jim from Port City. <laughs> Joe, of course, that's a good rebuild happening, Ben, and give it a few years. We've got to sack our coach first, but let's not talk about the footy. <laughs> We're here for, here for uh, an amazing game, Bowls, and I'll just update the scores. I'll get the camera set first this time. Yeah, Louise doubles her score, 10-2. She's taking control a little bit. She's run pretty long. It's not not T to T, but it's pretty long. So don't forget everyone out there and, and Jason, you two sitting next to me that uh to like and share this post. Like and share this stream for your chance to win five thousand dollars worth of prizes from Sharp EIT Solutions. It's a, a seven inch TV, a forty inch touch screen. Uh, fridge and a couple of microwaves. Terms and conditions apply, which are on our website, bowlsnewsofbowls.com.au. Oh, watch Dawny here. <laughs> Jeez. Louise had a cracker of a first bowl, and uh, Dawny's just centimetre perfect. Drops straight in behind Jack, beat that. Um, yeah, so yeah, just like and share, that's all you have to do for a lot of stuff. I've got that um, down pat now after 12 days of saying it. Yeah, just finished Jack High, but what a ball by Dawn. Her execution's already been close to perfect this morning. Well, I'm sure the state selectors are watching. I'm sure as heck, I hope the national ones are too. Um, I think they've all got a penned in now, mate. Make a skip. <laughs> <laughs> and Louise is playing well. Here's the other she thing, is. she's just... She is. She is playing well. She's having. She's got good weight. One or two, a little bit short than what she'd want. But look at this, Louise Cronin, turning perfectly on the Jack. Oh, I'm not sure How if she got back the did, shot. Though. How far back did Jack go? That's the question. And the question we're about to find out. So it's one to Dawn still. Oh, what a shot, Louise! That was brilliant. Dawny on the run, chasing this down. Most definitely. She's wanting to come up here and have a look at angles and distances, so just turned across there. Oh, he's having a good look. She might as well put a bowl down and come and have an actual look as well, closer to it if uh, making shot choices. It's out of her hand down a I think a wide line for that weight. Yeah. If it's dead draw weight, she's not too bad. She gets on the back of that. Yeah, knock this one over. There we she's go. Got a result Shot out of that. Bolt. So one there to Louise. Interesting shot selection here for Dawn. I tend to say she... May want to play a backhand and come under the head and push Louise through, but we know that backhand swooping, so... Mm. Geez, yeah. Louise looking very focused too. I was just watching her. I like to watch the body language of the player sometimes. And yeah. uh, shoulders are back, chin's up. She's pretty keen. Yeah, she's staying on the forehand. Dawny is here. Well, that's pretty wide for that weight that's too, I think. Wideish line. But draw weight... Oh it's coming back. I can't believe that's coming back like that. Makes it fall over. Well... Oh, it may have gone to two down. Maybe, 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 maybe. It's a pretty tight head. I'm not going to make any rash that. calls. We've got six, seven bowls. All inside. Throw and a half. Yeah, throw a tablecloth over them. <laughs> it's a great shot, Dawn, anyway. No, you know, I, I didn't think it was going to come back, but that's one. It's one to Louise. One. So she's got two ends in a row, mate. Brilliant. That's good. We need to see more of that from Louise. 
Scoreboard pressure's what we're after. Crowd starting to turn up now. A few, uh, a few locals and a few uh, visitors all looking around. Should be a bit of a transition day. The Fours teams will start turning up today. I was about to say that, Benny. Well done. Yeah, Fours kick off tomorrow. They do. Um, tomorrow after lunch, I think, Benny. I can't remember exactly now, but I think, oh, I'll have to after, look, yeah. I think it's around lunchtime because we do have uh, still senior and open reserve singles to play tomorrow morning. So there will be pe- coming, people coming into the town, into the club for a roll-up, ready mm. for their fours campaign. And what a way to finish uh, the state championships with the fours. Obviously, yeah, it's going to be big. A lot of people here playing, and they'll also bring some supporters along. So, so it's happened Haven. again. Just just pointing this out, Louise has put a cracker down as an, as an opener, and Dawn just within yep. and drawing to within a couple of inches of Jack. Same thing again. These girls are playing, ladies are playing a wonderful game. What have we got here in this game? Is this game 19? This is game 20, Carmen. She's won the last 19 in a row. Also heard the news. The state Great bowl, Louise Cronin. Oh, I missed it. Just sat Dorney down, got the shot, and she's in a, ended in a really good position. Yeah, too, and so. she, she seems to be hitting the zone, mate. Good to see. Oh, just as we Under speak, reply. Dawn Heyman, whatever Louise can do, she can do just as just good as, as well. well. Yeah, look at that. There's three shots in a row there. And a toucher. Yeah, three shots in a row that are just sitting near, next to Jell 4 now, so within this, nothing of Jack. So this, this is, is a draw shot for Louise. What she'd be looking to do is what we term crack an egg, which is just touching that front bowl with maybe, you know, a foot of weight, just Oof. enough to turn up. But that was probably maybe a bit too much weight, but... She did want to be there. Yeah, with a little bit less weight, she actually would have hit that perfectly. Yeah. It's just the line was Cracking that egg and yeah. trying to move the jack a couple of inches yeah. to make her two white bowls count. Yeah. Who else we got while Dawny lines this up? Just asking for distances. Morning from Warrialdo is Glenn Harvey. Yeah, looking forward to a good... Uh, John Bagan, do we know when the winners are announced? After the game, I assume. I'm not sure we... Oh, for the... For the like and share, no, I don't, mate. It'll be in the terms and conditions on the website. I should find out for you. What's Dorney down here? Yeah, we'll do some research on that and uh, let our viewers know. Just running past Dorney it. has put in a really good positional bowl there. There's a good chance Jack will pop to there. Look at the precision from both these ladies. Score, don't, don't worry about the scoreline right yeah. now. If you were tuning in this match at the moment, you'd be just thinking this is the greatest, greatest game that ever, was ever played. Louise. Maybe just looking to flatten her bowl there on the yeah, side. Yeah, I'm surprised she didn't... I'm surprised she wasn't a metre through, at least. Yeah, I think she's a bit worried about Dawny's bowls now on the left. She yeah. can drop a two. She's only one down now. She knocks that bowl, jack through, but it is what it is. Dawny's out on a whitish line too, so... She obviously doesn't want to go near this head, looking at that. Doink. One shot to Dawn Heyman. And what, what a head of bowls. What, what an end. This is making me very excited, mate. This is great bowling all round. Both players really on fire here. Bowls at its best. So who else we got here? Uh, Dorothy Povey. Welcome. Uh, Kerry Cottell. Jared Joel Fields going to... Somewhere you caught tagging him in. There you go. Uh, Pete Thornton going to Randra. Greg Cronin's... Behind him, I think the Redbacks um, have got a player in contention over in the scene. Oh I yeah, believe. they do too. Yep. Yes, they oh. kick off at ten a.m. at the other clubs. Oh, geez, Dawn. Every first shot so far. Yeah, Brad Griffith. It was twenty-five up today, and Ann Norton says she's ready for another lesson from Dawny. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Jeez. You could bottle the precision that Dawn has. Louise Cronin, look at that. Great starter bowl. <laughs> it's a good positional bowl. Yeah, it's you know. perfect. Um, straight away, she's got the option of affording to be um, at the head there a little bit. She's got the backward to catch. 
And Dawny's just trying to match it. And she has. And say it again, scoreline notwithstanding, that's a bit narrow, I think. This has a, uh, been a fantastic game of bowls so far. Jeez, what a way to kick off Super Sunday. Super Sunday it is, yes. Four games coming to you, live streamed. It's great that we're able to offset um, the games, whereas in the schedule, you know, if we've got one semi final going, it's all semi finals going across the disciplines. But with the open singles, we've been able to offset the games and, and bring more live action to, get, the, to our viewers. Get maximum coverage and play and watch both finals, the yeah. singles finals. is... That, that's remarkable. So well done to the sports team getting that uh, organised. Andrew Lynn and uh, the fantastic Lee Stinson out there. Louise just got to pull back Stop. harder. Oh, just a bit close. So still one to dawn, I believe. We're about to find out, but geez, that's close looking out the window. Yep, one to, one to dawn. It is. Distances, please. <laughs> <Don't want it. laughs> you got to be careful as a, as a marker. Sometimes you go... You go, just play that. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm not going to do that. No, I think the little <laughs> hand movement there, we quickly pulled up. And Dawny's not playing that way anyway, but... Just comes underneath and count here. Very close. Oh, it's a ledge. It's usable. Yeah, that'll be... So, vi that'll be visually better for Louise. Yeah, so a couple of feet on here gives her a few... If she pushes Jack, and there it is, pretty aggressive line. Very aggressive line here. She needs to have some weight to hold up. No, it's cutting. That was close. It was good, good shot selection, just not quite there. So another one on the board for uh, for Dawn Heyman. I'm not sure if it's one or two. Will I? I still think. It, looking out there, it looks like one, but uh, geez, I've been wrong yes. almost every time. One it is. Two it is. Oh, two. Sorry. Wow. Yeah, they kick one out. I'm just watching the paddles. 13-3. Ten shots in it again after uh, a couple of ends in a row to Louise. Dawn's grabbed it back and is now, uh, now back in ascendancy, you'd say. Has taken charge once again. Uh... Oh, he's doing absolutely nothing wrong at all and playing a pretty remarkable game. Uh, and the selectors are here noticing too. They're in, I can tell you now. Yeah. Despite the scoreline, she's putting a real challenge to Dawn. It's good to see. 5-2 next door. I think that's correct. Still 5-4 now, actually. Uh, Shirley Stewart over... Sarah Boddington, so close one happening next door. And Dawn Heyman once again just sitting right in front of Jack. I think that's the hardest ball on the lead bowl to beat. Yeah, that's a little shorter. Will this pull back? Dawny just making sure she reached that time. Yep. Excellent bowling. Jackets are coming off out there. It must be warming up. We'll warm up very quickly, uh, I'd suggest. Yes. Very smooth delivery, this Louise. So. I'd agree. She's been well coached and obviously practices a fair bit. That's um, I was just noticing the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, I just, just looked out the window. Yeah. Just watching her delivery from here and I went, it's really smooth which is obviously really good for consistency, it is. Yeah, good good compact movements as well, less mechanics, uh, less mechanical movement. Dawny again, just wanting to adjust her weight beautifully. Look at these girls, all on the line as well. Yep, got that dialed in, it's all about weight and weight control here. So just keeping you updated, this 5-4 next door. Sarah Boddington uh, catching up a bit. This one's a bit heavy as well. I'm 
Mountain Hoods there. Yeah, this is uh, something Just else. Around the front. Yeah, well. well four shots here to Dorney. Um, Louise sticking with that backhand. She just needs to just get that weight right. As we can see, all, her line's been impeccable. And Seymour just not asking if she's close. Oh, yeah, here we go. Just got to run down to this now. Louise Cronin, will she turn? Oh, we'll sat on the back. Cut a couple out. What a great bowl. She has cut a few out. Four down. Huge rescue. Not sure how far in front... Oh. Dawny's bowl is. I'm yeah, about to see. I wouldn't be surprised if it's only one to Dawn, but then it's more likely it's possible that it's two. So, having a good look. One. No, two. Two. We did it again. We saw Dawny <laughs> reaching for the tape, but. Uh... <laughs> so, 15. Dawn Heyman reaches 15. 10 to go for her to, to win this match. Uh, Louise Cron is stuck on three, but. Just doesn't feel like that, you know. Yeah. The game doesn't feel like Dorney's been this dominant. All credit to Louise. She's um. So next door we see Sarah Boddington hitting the lead for the first time. Six five now. Over Cheryl Lee Stewart. So Anne Seymour asking if uh, Dawn has played singles against Tash Van Eldick from Raymond Terrace. Both such good bowlers. Don't know. Oh, I'm sure at some point oh, they've come across each other. I don't know about the state singles event. This, the women's state singles event. And Karen here saying she can remember watching Louise in her juniors. Her delivery's always been smooth and she's always been a consistent bowler. Well, yeah, She was a prominent junior. I do remember her name for, for quite a few years yeah, ago. Same. She was a prominent junior. Um, don't know if she's had a break from bowls. Maybe she went and chased career. Not sure, but she's back on greens, which is great to see. Well, she's uh, got some talent, mate. Can play. You don't make a state women's semi final without not being able to play. Correct. Wow. But then you come up against Dawn Heyman at the top of a game, two touches to start this, <laughs> and just sitting right on Jack. Yeah, she's uh, at the peak of her powers. She may not say that. She may say, no, I've got improvement to make. And. Uh, well, well, they all the best do. They do. But we know in this game, chasing perfection, you can never achieve it. Yeah. What is perfection <laughs> yeah, how do, in our game? How do you reach that? What is perfection? So, Louise with options here. She's got two kind of hanging out to the left of Jack, which is where Jack will go, which is why Dawn's running here. And smart. Dawn stayed yeah. wide, knowing where the position of her bowl to the Jack, knowing the Jack movement is only out that way. <laughs> Got behind and stayed out that side, so. Absolutely right. So, Louise, this looks like an aggressive line. I'm surprised it's on that hand, to be honest, but here it comes. Here it comes. Runs through now. Oh, it's cutting. Whoa. So, hmm. two to Dawn. I imagine she'll be trying to match the white ones now, Dawn. Yeah, she's on that line. To probably not come across, so. Oh, she knocks herself said. through. There you go. She got it anyway. There you go. <laughs> two shots. Movement of Jack now is probably still two down, depending on how much it moves. So stayed yeah. that way, looking to draw yep. Jack off the back of uh, Dawn's bowl there, I'd suggest, but maybe a bit wide. She's got her head down, so she knows she's a little wide. Yep, another two to Dawny. I'm actually going to put the graphic up this time for everyone. Just make sure I watch the paddles first. Yep. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, once again, as our viewership increases and more people come on board, I just want to remind you to like and share this uh, stream and all four of them. So you have four chances today to uh, get on board with this promotion. Uh, like and share, $5,000 worth of prizes there in partnership with Sharp EIT Solutions. Terms and conditions apply. They're on our website. When are they drawn? I haven't looked yet. <laughs> Give me a sec, I'll go with... <laughs> We'll get Benny researching that right I'll now. Do that immediately. I'll put the scores back up. Now, I haven't put Dawn's last two on there. Seventeen three. Another brilliant start by Dawn. 
what are they watching here? It's, 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 just, it's <laughs> actually somewhat robotic. Do you know what I mean? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So she said nine, nine ends doing that, and I think every every end, every time she's delivered Jack, she's put her bowl within an inch. Yeah. yeah. Or a touch like that. It's just... <laughs> I don't even have words. It's just amazing. It's superhuman. She's not happy with this. It's because she's a little wide. But, in all honesty, counts. Not too bad. (laughs) (laughs) So, obviously, the expectations she she sets for herself, though. And Louise Cronin, is she going to come back hard enough? Not quite. Very good home, though. Ready to catch? Should there be contact on the front? Yeah, so... Phil Lubke saying, Louis' delivery is very smooth, but Dawn's is robotic. Uh, Steve Crickstolitis asking, can Louise do a uh, Lamba Yadavatu from yesterday? It was uh, That was something else. That was something else. Can that be done here today? Well, you never say never. Those of you missed that in the middle session yesterday, she uh, Lamba Yadavatu was... A, was well, a ridiculous amount of shots down. Won 11 of the next 12 ends to yep. win the game. Uh, yep. It was amazing. Uh, John Hardman asking if there's ever been a male or female bowler in the history of state champs to win all four. Yes. The answer is yes. And that is the lady we were mentioning earlier, Natasha Van Eldick. Uh, won the whole lot a few years back now. Well... Natasha won all four of the disciplines. Dorney's got a chance of winning four, but back then... Were they playing mixed? Yes. Uh, yeah. No, I don't, I don't think the mixed pairs was a discipline, so Natasha won the main four. Obviously, singles, pairs, triples and fours. Dorney can win four. But she yeah, didn't not, qualify for the fours didn't this year. didn't qualify for the fours discipline. Missed out by a couple of shots, I think. Still like nothing. Yeah. Against uh, took Karen a le- Murphy. Took a legend to beat her in Karen Murphy. So one more to Dawn. And another another amazing hit of bowls. Uh, Judy Monks, Louise, was runner-up in the state singles in 2018 against me. <laughs> Not me, against Judy. There you go. So some experience at this level is what we're saying. Can play. Well done, Judy, winning that 2018 title. That's awesome, too. Snoopy. Good morning, Snoopy. Uh, been looking forward to this all day from the UK. Bowls par excellence, exactly. Every day has been a bowl school day for Snoopy. <laughs> Love the ladies' singles. Epic 24-25 yesterday by... by uh, Short Matt Yat, <laughs> Short Matt Yat, I like that a lot, I'll call her that too, Snoopy, she's a mate of mine, uh, yeah, because she went short as she could. Louise, coming back, get right in behind. He's done a dawning. Excellent bowl, <laughs> Louise. Yes, great shooting. Yep. So, now we're going to see Dawny work. I think she played that way, actually, i bit surprised. But uh, this could be a setup though, stay that side. Maybe later on, come down the back end, get the trail for a multiple. Short that, yeah. She could just be happy with playing that side. Yeah, correct. Consistency. Just, yeah, consistency is right. There's no wrong shot if you draw the shot. <laughs> <laughs> if it's stupid and it works, it's yeah. not stupid. That's it. That's an old army saying. Okay, so we're seeing Dorney swap now. Have I got the score right? I don't think I have, actually. 18, I missed that last end. Sorry, team. I'll jump that up straight away. So, Dawny's on an all right line here. Is she going to pull all the way back? She oh, has. Geez. Wow. Absolute precision. She sat Louise's bowl through, rolled back onto the jack. She could be nearly sitting for three shots there. I reckon she is, yeah. Definitely two. I reckon three, without a doubt. But Louise has got an answer here. She's going to kick hers across, Contact. if nothing else. Contact her on no, her own. Oh, dear. Well. Close. Very, very close. 
Look at that line up of bowls there. Oh. So Dawny slightly wider here. I reckon she's trying to get to the, to the back here, or even to the white bowl of Louise's. There's any sort of weight played into there. I think she's just trying to make an extra line <laughs> on that <laughs> angle, <laughs> add one to it. That's spectacular. Okay, Louise, this is an aggressive line here. Let's see how her weight is. No. She needs to be up more than that. Dawn Heyman's played a cracker. And we think it's three shots. Yeah, looking out the window, it's a clear three. But uh, once again, we've said that four or five times. Magic fingers. Two it is. Oh. So Dawny's hit the 20 mark. So statistics, let's have a look at this. We're on end 14. Louise has got three shots. She's won three ends. That's it. Just singles. That's all Dawny gives away. And then and and uh, Dawn's won the rest with not huge multiples. Louise also um, playing a good defensive game at times. But he's just she's almost unstoppable. Twos and ones and twos the whole way. One three in the second end. Uh, so many different words to use. Clinical, surgical, you know, robotic. It's just out of this world. Look at the end again. <laughs> yeah. Surgical is the word I like to use. She's uh, <laughs> just surgical means precision, obviously. Hey, excellent, ladies and gentlemen. We have our first scammer of the day. Please don't click on any comments that are asking you for money. Anything that doesn't come from us, do not, just do not touch them, please. Bowls was in the Olympics. I'm sure Dawn would bring home the gold. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great to see that sport, our sport in the Olympics? We're working on it. Aren't we? yeah. Bowls Australia's got a good committee running and uh, lobbying Bowls, the uh, IOC and the AOC to yep. include it, even as a demonstration sport. Most definitely. 2032 so. in Brisbane. I know there's been some controversy about that lately. Well, this is pretty good again by Louis. Close. Uh, lately in stadiums, but I tell you now, there's some good good clubs up there that host the Olympics. Well, look, they already Gold Coast already hosts the Australian Open, the biggest biggest yep. event on in the world. So, we just need more. Oh. Oh, yeah, Dawny. Wow, three ripper bowls. From their other end of us, I don't know. Distances are somewhat yeah, a bit confusing. funny on the screen. So, Mark is looking around. I thought... No, she's only one down. Okay. I thought she may have even been shot with her, with, with her wide white one. So, Louise looking to... She can make contact on that. Be to it. Just draw inside of it. She's given this a good chance. Oh, yeah, look at Coming this. back. Whack. Makes the contact. Great shot, Louise. That was always there. See some... Just that overweighted shot down here on the forehand by Dawn, I believe. Yeah, she doesn't have to give it a, give it a flogging. She may, but... Uh, and she's very capable of it. But, yep. Well, it's an... Uh, Aggressive weight. I don't know about the line, but it I said is an aggressive before. line because it's the hand that's really oh, yeah. swinging. Oh, here we go! Look at this! Look at this! Gets it absolutely perfectly. Wow! Dawn Heyman, one down. Not that's anymore. <laughs> got the perfect part of Louise's shot bowl. She's holding at least three. How do you beat over that? to Louise? Something like this. Come on, Louise! Get down here and count. Oh, Gets an edge. Like... Oh, I think she's gone far. A little, little bit fast too far. Through. Yeah. Louise is throwing up the challenges. Just doing is good enough to beat him. Louise is playing well enough to beat almost anyone else. Just... If that, that makes sense, she's just. I think the only thing that's beaten Dawny is Jack in the ditch. <laughs> yeah. And then you'd have four. to sit on it. That's four. And then you'd have to sit on it because if you give her an inch of room, she'd draw to the edge of the ditch and have it hanging over anyway. Not wrong. <laughs> wow, we. So Dawn, one shot away from victory here. 
strangling, just not even strangling. Louise is playing so well. <laughs> like I said, this I think she'd beat everyone else, but yeah. We may even stick around. I'll move the ca- I won't move the cameras, but I'll use the cameras to look at the rink next door for the next one. This has been pretty quick, so look, we're, we're not hoping, tired yet, are we? We are hoping Louise makes a fight back here. Oh, definitely. One shot away. Again, Louise hasn't been bad at all. No, she's like she you said, might be upset with her with herself. You know, she's missed just little bits here and there. You know, a bowl width here, a, a foot over, or a foot short. I, I generally think she's playing well enough to beat most of the uh, ladies I've seen play in this in this state so far. But it's just coming up against yeah. someone who's writing her name in, in mythology here. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, Greg Payne saying if we, well, I'll say if we took the score away, it's been a terrific play all round. I couldn't agree more. The scores are, scores kind of lying a little bit, so to speak. It's just, it's not, it doesn't reflect what the game's been. And, uh, ah, Cody Pebble, good morning to you too. Thanks, mate. Yeah, my barman. <laughs> Cards is <laughs> well. She's got another three here so far. One's all she needs. Louise needs perfection she's from on a now very on. Very good line here, Louise. This is they're coming back from there. Yeah, look at this. Right in there. Great shot. Bring it, bowl, Louise Cronin. <clears throat> all right, over to Dawn. And you put money on it, taking Wait, this off. We are. We're, we're sitting here watching it intently going, OK, what are you going to do this time? <laughs> For anyone else, it's an unbeatable bowl. Well, she's, that's very aggressive. Yeah, but she's got the weight too, so she's looking to just... Well, no, it's no, crossing. She Careful. She didn't have the weight. Missed everything. There's an unusual Let's mistake. Let's that down. First guess. Yeah. <laughs> Louise out on that good good area again. That's where we're seeing them drift home from. Just a bit shy this time, though. Well, she's not going to die wondering. One shot there to Louise Cronin. <laughs> she's not human, she's human. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, Jamie. Well done. Excellent. So another shot there, Louise Cronin, and the game continues. Once again, with one shot left for Dorney to win. Louise having to be absolutely perfect here. Look at that delivery. Yeah. Fluent, compact, not... <laughs> Not too much can go wrong with it. Very simple. <laughs> Dylan Essex for the men semi we brought in early asking for a mate and it actually depends on the the uh on the uh game next door to be honest. It which does. Will, and well the length of this game in the end as well. Yeah. Yeah, well none of the men's semis will finish until both ladies semis are finished. Start, yeah, that's right. And, oh, just want to talk about start. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Have a look at Dorney's first bowl again. I know. <laughs> Louis back, good position. Let's throw it out there to our viewers. Can you pass on a few extra uh, superlatives for us to use? Because we're running out. <laughs> I enjoyed Jamie's one. The, the, she's not human, she's human. That's good. I enjoyed that. Here we go again. Great bowl. It just shuts it off visually there for Louise, it does. We should keep plugging away in that wider yeah. hand. That's too wide, I think. Three back. 
but no way to get it back to those three. Dorney's set up well here. She'll mm. be looking just to play cover bowls. She won't want to be touching the, this head here now. Edge there now, so yeah, usable. It is all right. Louise needs to draw a shot here, or it's all over. She looks wide. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we have we have our first finalist, Dawn Heyman, in less than an hour. I think we've just seen an absolute masterclass yep. of lawn bowls. We really have. No matter what uh, competition be, men's, women's, opens, that there is an absolute masterclass. Uh, for anyone to uh, to watch. So congratulations, Dawn Heyman. Um, on her way to a fourth state championship. She's now got the chance for that. It's just staggering. It's, again, you run. we talk about running out of superlatives. She's just absolutely clinical in yeah. what she did. Just uh, just the first bowl from the first, very first yep. bowl of the match. First bowl is a front toucher. To this, yep, to, to this now, everything was just perfect. And all credit to Louise Cronin. She played very well and has done an amazing effort to get here through uh, a section where she dominated uh, with a plus 28, I think she finished with in her yeah. section. Uh, remarkable and a remarkable bowler. I hope she doesn't get disheartened by that because it, while it looks on the scoreboard like a murdering, she wasn't that bad. She didn't play poorly well, at all. If every player gets disheartened with Tony yeah. Hayne, we're going to have about... 30 <laughs> players walking away from here being that, that. So, <laughs> so, so I'm, I can't move my cameras well I'm not going to move my cameras but we may we've been going for less than an hour so uh, we may just I'll move shift this around and we'll see if we can watch a bit of the uh, Sarah Bonington game just for you guys I feel a bit lazy packing up <laughs> no. no it's alright no we'll leave them there We're, I'm, yeah. they're in good position so I don't want to move them yeah uh, but we we'll just See what we can do here. We are set on this rink all day today, so... Yep, so next door it is 6.10 at the moment, actually. The score's a little behind on the bottom right. But, uh... This could go for a while. So, Shirley Stewart versus Sarah Boddington. All right, while this is going, I'm going to duck off and grab a quick coffee. Sounds good, I'll mate. I'll be back in the seat soon. So I got a uh, just off to get that. I'm just watching down here. Sure, uh, sorry, um, Louise Cronin with her support crew. And it's a good support crew from Tarrant Point. But uh, what do you do about Dawn Heyman? Whoever wins this this game, Shirley Stewart or Sarah Bonington, is going to uh, be asking the same question. I think. So. Shirley with the darker bowls, Sarah with the lighter bowls. Shirley pumping this one in. She's holding one. Sarah a bit wider. Let's see if this other camera's got a, a different view for you. No, it's all right. I can just watch the delivery if you'd like. There we go. There's Sarah lining up there. Good crowd inside the club at the moment, actually, just looking in the in the background there. Patrick Reed saying he's played bowls over 40 years and Dawn is the best he's ever seen. Uh, Margaret Sumner a close second. Yeah, they're amazing. Certainly no double impressive, yeah. Uh, congratulations happening all around here. It's great. Yeah, Jason Pitting is having a coffee. We uh, we don't tend to uh, partake in anything else while we're while we're working, mate. Thanks, Brett. So Shirley holding here. Sarah just asking about it. No, Tamworth will be uh, up and about watching after Shirley here.
Oh, looking for the jack just missed, I think. What I might do is I'll move that little logo across. Where can I put it? I'll put it up there. So looking good here. Share Elite. Darker Bowls set that up well. Sent that out well. Holding one here. Oh, into her own and maybe moved it up for another. No, not quite, I don't think so. One to Shira Lee at the moment. Sarah actually put the mat down there like it's hers, so maybe, I don't know, I trust the marker. I'm going to have a little measure. Sorry guys, that's my fault. So wait for the school board to get turned over and we'll see what that says. It's uh eight ten. We'll see where Jack ends up. How good does this green look right now? The sun coming out, things drying out. What a club at Club Dubbo. Oh, well done, Shirley. Great starter. Oh, both finals. Sorry, Jamie. The uh, next final, very shortly, at, well, should be starting at 11 o'clock, will be the men's finals. We'll have... Uh, um, oh, I can't remember who we're watching. I think it's Ray Pierce and... Uh, Mark Wheatley from Wyong. No, it's by Mark Wheatley from Wyong and Hayden uh, Boykowski from uh, uh, from East Maitland. And that'll be happening at 11 o'clock. But right now we're just watching... We're going to watch the uh, the other semi-final for the ladies right now. See if we can pick a winner. Who's going to play Dawn Heyman? Uh, well, I guess tomorrow morning. No, this afternoon. Come on, Ben, wake up. That's the seniors in the uh, reserve tomorrow. Players in the way over there, but they're all congratulating uh, Dawn and Louise after a great game. Sarah Boddington, that's a great shot. I don't think it'll be holding, but that's fantastic reply. Surely asking the question. Well, she's one down, so Sarah has drawn shot there. Sarah having a good look. <laughs> and just uh, look out the window here as the fours players start to arrive. I can see my mate uh, Dylan Essex. Oh, good shot, Sarah Boddington. Brilliant. Lays down on Cheryl Lee's bowl. Now holding two. 
Three bowls in front, so tough call here for Shirley. As she runs through and have a go. I think the draw's on the other hand from where she's lining up, looking at the head there, but it's a nice aggressive line, aggressive shot. Ducked under. Oh, she got the back one. So she's one down on the head now. <laughs> Runs after it. Then comes this bowl. Sarah looking, maybe playing this one nice and safe. Yeah, good safe bowl. So there's another one to Sarah Boddington. Goes to 11 8. You're watching the 23 24 Bowls New South Wales State Championships. Brought to you from Club Dubbo. Just just witnessed, uh, well, look, it's a quick game, isn't it? Dorney Heyman uh, defeating Louise Cronin in, in less than an hour. 25 shots in less than an hour. They were moving quick anyway, Move, moving quickly between the ends and on the mat, but just a dominant display uh, by Dawn Heyman. Sarah Boddington... And Shirley Stewart now looking to be the challenger for Dawn. Uh, in the final that's coming up this afternoon. Pretty good shot there actually by, uh, by Sarah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Thank you very much. Love this club. Here, come my, here comes my coffee. Good service here. What a place to be at uh, at Club Dubbo. So I'll let you know that we finished this. It's not even ten o'clock. Twenty minutes until the seniors and the uh, reserve semis kick off at uh, Macquarie Club and uh, North Dubbo RSL Sporties. Absolutely zero. Chance of rain or anything happening today. It is a beautiful day here at Club Dubbo in Dubbo. Come and visit Dubbo Region. And you can still like and share this as well for uh, your chance to win uh, your share of $5,000 worth of prizes. Electronics, thanks to Sharp EIT Solutions. Uh, there's a huge TV, 70 inch, uh, 40 inch touchscreen, and Oh, a couple of microwaves and a, and a high-speed printer as well. So jump on and uh, see what you can do. All you need to do is like and share. Look, I still haven't looked it up. I'll look now. Sarah Boddington, great shot there. for it now. It doesn't actually say when it comes up. I assume pretty soon after the uh, state championships, actually. So after the completion... Oh, no, there we are. Competition closes at midnight Wednesday, the 27th of March. So in three days' time, that makes sense. Entries after this date will not be accepted. Anthony Rich says he has been in Dubbo all week. A lot of amazing bowls, and no one has come close to that display by dawn. 
Look, yeah, we're still in awe, I think, a little bit ourselves. But look what Cheryl Lee's done here. Another two. No, oh, there's two to her, and that'll drag him back to ten all. Okay, I'm back. Coffees are made. I'm going to leave you for a second and have a little comfort break of my own, mate, while this is going on. I'll yeah, just not a problem, move mate. this camera to so you can see what's going on. I have been asked to move it over. But uh, I prefer not to, but I'll see what I can do. Won't be a second. Okay, so good game going on here in the second of the ladies' semi-finals. Great opening bowl there from Cheryl Lee. Somewhat dawny like that first bowl, <laughs> I've got to say. So, <laughs> Cheryl Lee from West Tamworth Bowling Club. Um, okay, Sarah, finishing in a good home there. Just wanting to, to to reach, obviously. Now she has an option for the rest of the this end to move Jack back to herself. So yes, Cheryl Lee from West Tamworth. She's been playing some very good bowls. I've noticed results that she's been getting. So very well deserved to be here. Played well in sectional play. She's got two shots there at this stage. And of course, everyone watching here would know Sarah Boddington. She's been previous winner of this, this event. All right, line here. Just wanted to reach a little more. Finishing in front there, so hard to tell with the angles, but I still favour West Tamworth for two. Sarah staying on a forehand. Can use the West Tamworth wide bowl. Inside edge of that will come across on the jack or just draw inside of it. She's following it down. Just turning on her. She just missing. No, she had pretty good weight. Just missing a line only by a bowl. So I think it might only be one now. Looks like Cheryl Lee sticking to a backhand. So probably wanting to get one just in behind. Obviously Sarah's got that one there to catch. If she can match that. I mean, great positional play. And I tell you what. She nearly drawn a second wood here. She, oh, not quite. Obviously the uh, angles are a little bit deceiving. But... No indication from the plum looking out the window. No indication from the players or the markers. But let's see what Sarah does here. I reckon she'll be trying to play similar. She can just adjust that line. And we're only talking a bowl width. Should be very close. So, 
she's let it go. Will it come all the way back? She doesn't want to get the edge of that. Just misses. So she give it a good chance with that weight. So taking the one out. Have a look around. Very close here. Going back to the Sarah's bowl. Just ensure that the tape hasn't been moved. So a bit of discussion there. One it is. So surely closing the gap now. Nine, ten, nine to Sarah. Sun is out in full now, so it should help just to dry that surface just a little bit with that full sun out now. Slight breeze still out there, nothing significant. Okay, so surely just through there. We've got Benny going out. We are going to shift the cameras across. It's a pretty heavy schedule today. So as soon as this game finishes, we want to try and get straight into the men's semis. And then the same will happen once the men's semis are completed, straight into the women's final, and then bang, straight into the men's final. So keep us on our toes and busy, but... Looking forward to bringing all, as much action and coverage of these games as we can to our viewers out there. So Sarah starting with a good bowl about a mat length behind. Cheryl Lee has adjusted very, very well. Just flop back, but I favour Cheryl Lee for one there. Good bowl. Just looking to lose a foot, that's all here. Just kept it on a bit, added a bit extra, so never go astray back there. Chance here for Shirley to Put some number pressure here on Sarah. She looks just a little bit underdone or under the grass. Not sure if she's counted with that one, but. Looks to be better weight here, just. Is it going to come all the way back? It has, and favour Sarah for shot, but the players are going up to have a look. Always good to go up and have a look, give you a better visual aspect of, of distances and angles from uh, compared to the mat end. So 
can Cheryl Levy just looking to come and draw down on the Sarah. She can turn her once. She can get herself back to two shots. She's following it down. She's got good weight to be there. Is it going to turn in enough? She's got it perfectly. Cheryl Lee Stewart. Brilliant bowl. At least, and a toucher. At least two. Not sure about the front one, though. Could be three. So we see Sarah here. I think we might see a little bit of aggression up here on her back end. If all three of them count. Because... Very hard to draw, obviously, unless she's still confident on that wide hand drawing that off. Yeah, she's having a good look. Yeah. I'll just run back. I'm moving those cameras across. So the first one's up. As soon as this end finishes, I'll run down and do the next one. Well, we are seeing a lot of the force teams turning up out there. There's a oh, and inside the club. Inside the club, yeah. Excellent. Let's see Dylan Essex there from. Uh, well, yep. he's got a little bay hat on, but he's actually playing up. He qualified with them. I think he's playing up at um, Braidwood now. He's the okay. head, head greenkeeper up there. Brilliant. Okay, Sarah. Still undecided. Okay. Yeah, taking a long, long look. Look, and if you're undecided, I like what she just did there. She walked right off the mat. That's it. Get her thoughts back together. Decide on the shot you want to play and then get back on the mat. Brilliant. So it's going to be aggression up here on the back end. Okay, she's let it go. She's looking at it intently. Got the front two. So great shot, Sarah Boddington. Only one down now. Wasn't sure if it was three, but definitely two down. Yeah, very nice. The one to... Uh... Wonder. Cheryl Lee. So, and I'll leave that there and I'll go move the other camera. I'll be back in a sec. Cheryl Lee now hit the lead. 12 11. Benny, who's still live scoring? Um, so, as we can see, we've got. Camera one moved across now, so give you some better vision and I won't play with the zoom in and out of the camera. That's that's Benny's forte. <laughs> so we'll just leave it there for now. Benny will move the other camera and he'll be back on deck. As we see another great opening bowl here. Just slid through but finishes in a good home. Seeing them bowls really pull home from that side. Sarah's played a great bowl, got the shot. Shirley just misses again, very similar to a first. So we're seeing a few more people jump on at the moment. Um, have a look at the results on our screen at the moment. Dawny Heyman was really clinical this morning, playing very well. Louise played well in her own right, but Dawn, as we've seen all championships, was simply perfect. So we moved our cameras across to the second semi-final to bring you that coverage. And you'll see the current score 
On the bottom right hand side of our screens there, Shirley Stewart from West Tamworth up 12 over Sarah Boddington from Foster, 11. So Sarah holding one here. Shirley would really like to be sitting onto Sarah's bowl. Or just draw inside of it. She can flop in off of it. That's three times now Shirley's found that hole. Very unfortunate. Three very good bowls. So Sarah with a chance to draw for two. She's out on a very good line. This is where they swing from. Obviously not getting wanting to get right to the jack there, so she threw it out. Wanting it to come home. Now, great bowl. Oh, just flopped backwards with contact on a shot bowl. So that's a definite one. All right, I think I got it. Great work, Benny Two-Shoes. All right. So actually measure for two here. Mm. Scores updated correctly, bottom right hand side, so. Gee, Kay, our uh, marker there's not happy that I moved the camera across. She's uh, got herself on TV again. <laughs> <laughs> Tox out, good idea. So I can see down here we've got some Warilla clubs here, St George's Basin ladies have turned up in the senior fours. As I said, Dylan's here. Husky just arrived as well. Which I'm excited about. Good to see the Husky boys. <laughs> Lo him. Local club for Benny, so. Yeah. yeah, Michelle Dean and the sister. So she rolls so Shirley's right. bowl out there, so it looks like it's only one to Sarah. Wait for the marker to indicate. No, two. it was two. Okay, so change of lead again. Two to Botto. Johnny Bagnell, great job, Benny. So. Cool, settle down there, Reginald. I'm just moving it now. It's been set up behind the other ring. <laughs> Looks like a scam comment there, maybe, Benny. Which one? Uh, yeah. There it is, yep, gone. <laughs> there we go. Bring Just it. for you, Reginald. Bring it work, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that little shade there. Yeah, good opening bowl there from Sarah, about a metre behind. On the line. Been a good tight battle this so far. Even watching the scores during our first match. Yeah. Um, they've sort of been tit for tat, these two ladies. Scores moving backwards and forwards. Good shot there, Shirley. Brilliant. You can just see Louise Cronin taking off. She's coming, uh, got her prize, and the looks like they're going to take the long trip home now. She's got a big smile on her face, mate. Yeah. I'll give her that. That's brilliant. Yeah. Look, she's... Okay, uh, hey, Sarah. Oh, close. Very close. Oh, well, asking the question early and... Measure. Indica markers indicated measure. Yep. So. Yeah, 
couple options here for Shirley. She can just turn her own over. If she was slightly underneath, she could also sit onto Sarah's bowl, but she's played this very well. Turn her own over. Oh, wow. And got inside of Sarah's, so... I don't think she moved it too far, so no. it might still be a... It's definitely one. Yep. Okay, Sarah out on that wide line. Wanting it to come back a bit quicker now. We know they do. Contact on her own. She has, well, I think it's still one to West Hamworth. Yeah, I, I think so too. Yep. And as well, indicated by our marker. Up. Speaking of the markers, look at these uh, ladies sitting here. I'm going to tell you now that young lady in the background is just watching, <laughs> just watching the game. And uh, Kay, of course, marking. That's one of the ones I was talking about. It's got the quick costume change coming up for the men's finals. Hayden uh, Wojciechowski just popping up to her left. Oh, great. Well, went with it. She's lucky she went with it. The head needed changing because we know that Sarah would have done similarly. If Sarah trails that jack, Sarah Lee's two down. Yep. So she's made a better one for herself and made, made harder work for Sarah there. Really enjoying this coffee this morning. It is good. Feeling good today, mate. How about you? Yeah, mate, I do feel good. I yeah. was... Uh, wasn't a day off yesterday, but I took a day away from the commentary and I went over to North Dubbo Sporties and had the laptop caught up on a little bit of admin work, but got to support one of my club mates in the uh, senior singles over there yesterday. So, yeah, feel somewhat refreshed today. Yeah, big uh, thank you for joining us over there. Jeez, it's been nearly two weeks now you've yeah, been mate. doing this. So, yeah. I appreciate that very much and getting your own work done at the same time. It's really good, mate. You're doing well. That's great to interact with the team and. Good to uh, have uh, both the national and, and state bodies interacting together and working together yeah. for the game. So yeah, we, we like that. I, I think it's I think it's the way to be. So the current score twelve thirteen. So surely correct. Somewhat of a free kick here. She's on a very, very good line. She just needs to run up a little bit further. Yeah, got the pace. You're Think close. so. Sarah's two, put her two fingers up halfway down the green. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> so I think, yeah, I think uh, Carl Mark is going to do the same thing. Well, maybe she's only saying one because... Close look. Yep, one. It is one. 13 all. So this lady here, I'll just give you a heads up, has been every day out there marking and uh, Scoreboard scoreboarding, yep. whatever volunteer work she needs to do, she's here doing much respect. At the table, okay. collecting lunch orders inside. Yep. Yeah. Anything her club's needed, she's been there for. So big respect. Yeah, brilliant, hey, mate? Yeah. Ah, these are off to me left. I can see the uh, Foster boys have turned up. They're competing in the men's open fours. Shannon White and um, Martin Gosper. Yeah, everyone's really starting to arrive so now, aren't they? They're uh, obviously out here supporting their club mates here, Sarah. Surely it's a pretty good start. Yeah, great reply from Sarah. Perfect, in fact. Reginald Lambeth just saying, yeah, it's getting warm in here, isn't it, mate? <laughs> yeah, just, I don't want to close sex. that blind either. Yeah, Reginald uh, Lambeth had a close win yesterday in the Major Minor Pairs Champs at Gosford, round two, winning 16-15. Well done, mate. That's good. I like to hear that. Don't be scared to share your results out there. If you're having a win, I'll read them out and give you a shout-out. Yeah, getting very warm early on. 
in this little room, so I just open up the office and get a little bit of airflow. Quite extraordinary. Uh, Adrian Kaminsky uh, off the bowls in 10 minutes, so just watching, really well done. Snoopy, quite extraordinary, you're right. Yeah, two brilliant opening bowls there from Sarah. Yeah, perfect. Surely coming down the forehand, that I, I suggest that she's going to play some aggressive mm -hmm. weight here. That's exactly what she's it is. pushing in. Is she going to hold up? That hand is holding. Just wants a contact. Oh, oh she, she got it. the contact that she wanted. What a shot, Shirley. That's all it was about. It was just it's playing that right weight into there. A little look at that as it came result. down. Yeah, because it held beautifully, as you were saying. It was... Uh, she looked halfway down. I thought to myself she was a little bit tight, but held nicely. Yep. Got Enough to kick Jack result, across. And I think she's got one shot, so. Well, it's definitely one one now. That yep. second ball, that takes any doubt out. But a good set up there for Sarah. She gets a drag of the Jack back herself now. She can make a multiple, so. Shirley really wanting to get the se get a second one in here. Looks a little skinny for this side. We've seen these swooping here. So opportunity here for Sarah. Yeah, she can push Shirley's bowl through, or probably more ideally, um, drag the jack. That's exactly what she wants to do. Either replace Shirley there or drag Jack back for for three. Either way, she should be at this head with at least a metre, if not a little bit more. She's playing the forehand. So she's playing a heavy Very. weight. Looking more yeah. for the bowl and, yeah, just cut under the line. Yeah, I do think she played the wrong way, but uh, the heavy shot was there and on. And just misses. So one to, another one to Shirley. 13 all now. No, it would no. be 14, 13. 14, 13. I'm looking at the wrong way, am I? Yeah, no, we're looking at the live scoreboard. Hasn't quite updated. Oh, right, so, yep, 13 all. 13 all it is currently, plus that one. 14, 13 to Shirley, as we see. Scoreboard attendant out there, doing a good job. Yeah, doing a great job. <laughs> pretty Coffee in hand. Brought her, brought her own chair in. Yeah. Pretty chill position. <laughs> we should be here all day, too. Should be doing this afternoon's games, where both the men's and well, the women's and the men's finals this afternoon on Super Sunday. Four games of bowls. You're lucky enough. You're probably you're getting five at the moment. Dawn Heyman just uh, an absolutely dominant display. You see the scoreboard at the top, 25-4. Um, I spoke to Louise at the end. Yeah, she said she just she played played her shots just. Uh, just got strangled completely. Yep. Well done, Shirley. Good shot there. So, big challenge for whoever wins this game this afternoon. So, if we look at the time. Ten past ten. So, we will be having matches kick off in our senior and open reserves. They'll be starting their round three matches at both... North Dubbo Sporties RSL and Macquarie Club. What I'll do is I'll keep an eye out on the other on the on the little spreadsheet we've got. When scores start coming through, they're not. There's nothing on there at the moment. Yeah, no Great scores on there. Lee Stewart yep. there. Just a little high on a line here, but good weight just to be reaching into that, pushing that bowl or moving the jack. Shirley's setting up really well here, and she wouldn't be wanting any jack movement, but a bowl in amongst Sarah's two there would be really good. She can even count. She's on a good line. Yep. A little swoop back. Oh, look. 
She's done two things. She, she's That's counted ears. and she's covered. So. Absolutely brilliant bowling. Yeah. Okay. Sarah. Pressure on Sarah right now. On the forehand. Just looking to draw there. She only needs to adjust the grass a tiny little bit. Her weight was all right. Will that swing back hard enough? I'm not sure it will. No. Better weight, but just that bowl wide, and that's all it is. Yeah, she's close. And that's the, uh, I guess, the noticeable thing. Let's get on there and watch this delivery. That's a really nice compact delivery again. We see the mechanics of... Uh, of surely really, really tight. She Shelsey. doesn't. Yeah, she's missed that nicely into a great home. That's four shots to Shirley Stewart. So Sarah with some decisions to make here. West Tamworth will be up and up and about at the moment. All of Tamworth actually. The Tamworth bowls community is really tight. In fact, yeah, most definitely. Um. They all support each other at these sort of events. Penance is different, don't worry. There's, there is some rivalries over there, but as, they, as there are everywhere when they're playing club against club. But when it comes to these events, the Tamworth clubs get behind each and every one, each and every one of their members from exactly their right. area. Clive so. Boddington, uh, uh, well, Sarah's mum and dad are watching from uh, Wongabat Beach in, uh, in Patea in Thailand. Glad you're here. So it looks like Sarah's staying on the draw here. She has only missed a line by, by a bowl. Her weight has been good, so she can just adjust that one bowl. Oh, I think she's out there again. Too wide, yep. Yeah. So well, coming it, is, yeah. it is coming back. Will it come back far enough? Push that in. Oh, it didn't flop. Not sure. Either way, it's three. I think it's the four. Uh, yeah, sorry, three at least, I meant to say. Yeah, <laughs> yep. finish that off. <laughs> so. Looking for a tape. Looking for a tape. Sarah will just go around and have a quick look at it. Four here. Could be a telling blow. It'll be the biggest lead in the game. Bright, shiny day. Look at the glow off the bowls there. That's beautiful. So measuring the uh, Sarah's first just to see who's which one's closest. And then she'll go around and check on her own. Two, three. That's a four. That's big. That's big. Well done, Shirley Stewart. Smashed out of four. So we look at the scoreboard now, and that'll be 18-13, I think. Yep. Yep. So that's an acceleration into that 25. They're chasing 25. It is a, uh, a race to that number. Ends don't matter. No, and, and quite a telling point of the game to pick up a big sh big count. The game has been very, very tight. Only one and two shots in it all the way. Shirley's just now broken away. Five shots ahead, so... Sarah will really be concentrating on this end here. Sarah's sake, we're hoping it's not a, not a backbreaker, but last two ends have gone to Shirley. Five shots in two ends, and a little kick away. Now 13 all, now 18 13. So the question was put to me Is Ben Twist playing in the fours? So I'll just do a little little check. Bowls Link, of course, a very powerful tool. The answer is no. Who is from that area? Zone 12. It's so the Carl Healy, Bo Prado, uh, Willis and Phillips team from Cabramatta. Uh, one from Zone 12. Look at that for a starter from Shirley Toucher. Sarah, 
Very, very good opener as well. We will see Lee Strainer, Bouse, Minter and uh, Twining up here that's from Roman Terrace. That's a, that's a powerful team. There are some, team from Ballina. There are some stars coming in for our fours, especially in the men's section. You know, Sean Thompson from Maryland's, Jack McShane, Michael Clark, Heath Lewis. You know, Jack and Heath have already been involved with winning the uh, men's triples. Yeah, Club Grandviews is there with uh, Jeffrey Merton, Rowan Ellis. That's a big team. McCronin, Pitham Riley, and Dilworth from uh, Maitland City. Warilla, the strength of Warilla. Tees, Henry, Pasco, and Green. No, no uh, Stinson in that team either, by the way, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there should, he should be, but... Uh, and I'll give a shout-out to uh, my area, the combination of Jones and Conlon from Ballina. Howard and Rickson. And that's the men's. If we look at the... I'll just wait for this to reload. As Shirley comes in looking to double up. Just needs to run a little bit Ooh. more. But it covers it up. It does. Very hard for Sears to get in there now and hard to play weight because if she gets her own out, she's down a count again. So she might just be looking to maybe play a meter on, maybe a little bit more, just to hold underneath Shirley, but and we see that it's an aggressive line. Just a matter if she holds on now, because we know it swoops here. And there it goes. Oh, ducked under. Great it's effort. Geez, it was close. It's in a good home, though. Yeah. So she she may feel more confident to play a little heavier next time. In the ladies section, uh, Walker Wright, Chinnery and Minahan from Tarrant Point. It's a strong team. Uh... South Tamworth team's a good one. Already champions. Yep. That this championships with Chrissy Myers and Carol White taking out the senior ladies. But it is the K, uh, K Murphy, E5, J Cottell and J Warsnop from Cabramatta, the, the, I think the danger team in this one. Handy side. Yep. <laughs> Rembula. Yeah, but Tim McGarrity, Jolly and Finn Young. Reese Finn Young, they'll be strong. Soldiers Point, Wits, Burton, Ball and Flanagan, that'll be huge. Local side there, mate. Down mm. the bottom. Don't love it. Local side is right. Harkin, M McDonnell, Lawson, and Hummel from Dubbo City as well. So, yeah, look, the fours is going to be brilliant in the uh, state section. Some good, bloody, really good teams going around. Senior teams. Oh. There's some big names there. Warren Shipley there from Soldiers Point with Beasley, Ahoy, and Ramage. That's going to be massive, massive. Sarah's just underdone. Will she get some luck oh. off that? No, she didn't. So, Shirley's on a bit of a run now. That's that's three ends in a row for Shirley. So, 19-13 now. Her pushing onto that 20 mark. Yep. Sarah's in a bit of a dead patch here at the moment. Mm. Let's make sure my... Yeah. Uh, Cameras are in operation. You can see in the background, the Greenkeepers just putting their rollers away, away now. It's uh, 20 past 10. They've been out working all day since probably 5 o'clock this morning. Yeah, most definitely. At least, maybe even earlier. They like to come probably in the dark and still run around and do a yeah. bit of clean up, rubbish stuff, all that sort of stuff. Oh, well, yeah. Without starting machine. Since I spoke to them this morning, they came in, they washed down all the, uh, all the hard surfaces. Yep. With their hose, and that's why it looks so wet this oh. morning when we turned up. Uh, we actually thought there was rain here this exactly, morning. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but but no. it's, again, the surrounds are meticulous. Grain keepers, we respect them all around the all around the country, but these guys are putting in a huge effort for the uh, state carnival. And look at the surface we're playing on right here. It just doesn't get any better than this. Look through the seniors list. It's huge again. There, Peter Bobridge, Nick King, Mick Dupree, Pete Heffernan. That'll be good. McFadden, Burgess, Holden, and Langby from Lismore Heights. That'll be a great team as well. It's going to be brilliant. I'm uh, actually excited about the fours coming yeah, up. Fours is good because it's the numbers too that turn up into the into the club. Oh, so. Yeah. Um. Cheryl Lee's adjustments have been simply brilliant. 
if she slightly missed with, with her first bowl, her second bowl has adjusted really well. Exactly right. Um, really putting Sarah under the pump. Very but, noticeable, yep. Yep. And she hasn't left Sarah too many targets. She's been putting bowls down like that that Sarah can't use to come in off or, or draw to. It's, it's really just still been that one bowl or the jack target. Generally just a little bit wide here, but maybe wanting to get one just behind in the area where the jack will end up to, and that there is a great positional bowl. Yep. Looking at here, mate. One, so still one to Cheryl Lee, yep. I believe, but Cheryl Lee's setup's really good here. She'd be looking to draw a second, just get past Sarah's short bowl and draw a second shot here. Let's jump on here. I haven't read some uh, comments lately. Let's see. Uh, Karen Moxie watching from uh, Warrialda. Welcome. Rod Smith watching this. Not sure. Waiting for Cheryl Lee. That's what she wanted. Horseman Shirley, uh, Rod Smith saying, yep, Karen Moxie, go Westy from Ann Guy, Mick Anderson, go Sarah, uh, and a Hawk, great bowling Shirley, Fergo and Twisty are playing up uh, in Queensland at the moment, yep, don't forget Jason Preston in the Foster Four side, yeah, great, cool, very good player, watching from Almara. Is Denise McLaughlin, Heidi Monch watching uh, great bowling, Cheryl and Kenny Ainsworth watching from Grafton. So uh, everyone coming back, don't forget to uh, like and share this post. Quickly put this up and then get it back before she bowls to uh, get your share of $5,000 worth of prizes thanks to Sharp EIT. All you have to do is like and share this live stream. Terms and conditions to apply. Entries close at... Uh, on Wednesday night at midnight. Okay, so aggressive line. Has she got the weight to hold to it now? Just sliding under. So we're seeing Cheryl Lee put pressure on earlier, but we're seeing Botto, which she's commonly known as. A lot of people call her Botto. <laughs> yeah, missing Botto. by might, like very, very um, tiny margins. So that number pressure starting to build up. Scoreboard pressure is on Sarah now. Yeah. Cheryl Lee's hit 20. So you can nail it in two ends here, Cheryl Lee. Yeah, good sounds coming from out in the club. I love it. It's Sunday, it's half, nearly half past 10. People are arriving for... Uh, for a coffee and a, a great game of bowls. A few of the uh, men's singles semi-finalists have arrived. So yeah, Jay Brewster's out there. I just saw. Get CJ out there. What a day this has turned out! All that clouds yeah. burn away. It has heaven out here at the moment. Yeah. We've got perfect playing conditions today. So looking forward to bringing absolute high-quality games today to the viewers minimal to zero wind out there yeah it's just meant to point that out you look at the flags it's just a slight breeze that's about all okay so sarah really wanting to put the pressure on here get one on early just under mm -hmm. and she would have really loved to have got right on that jack early because we've seen Cheryl Lee's adjustments if she has missed with a first Hopefully this isn't the commentator's curse, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I think this one's ducking, doesn't have the weight. Jason, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> a look at that. That's what I'm talking about. There's a very slight breeze, just enough to ruffle the flags a bit. Yeah. But uh, 
Minimal for play, though. Minimal, yep. Doesn't hurt a thing. So, Sarah, opportunity here. Hello, legend. Well, you want a seat? <laughs> Great bowl there, Sarah. So, shot two shots. Shirley really needs a good weight adjustment here. She's out on an all right line. It's down to a weight. She's come down very, very well. Good bowl, Shirley. Yeah, well done, Shirley. I think she's got the shot. I'm looking out. It's actually quite... It looks like she's definitely got shot on the screen. I look outside. Yeah, it looks different, doesn't it? Looking it at does, the shadows. But I, I do think she's shot. Good opportunity here for Sarah. She'll be looking for jack movement here. And she's on that line for it to happen. It just depends if she's got the weight. We know it swoops. Sarah Boddington needs to push a little harder. Yeah, she's got it. She's well done. done enough to get the shot. Well done. She would have loved to have been half a bowl wider, wouldn't she? But yeah, that's right. Just <laughs> moved back a little back. But, uh, Wet. yeah, nailed it. So, look, a big decision here from Shirley. She's only got a draw on because there's no absolutely zero... Uh, Bowls back. She's only one down. She can't give it a clobber. On. Yeah, maybe she'll take a medicine and go, but, but we'll see. There's no use trying to play in here with weight and knocking your own bowl out. She's probably going to have a look, see if there's a chance of drawing the shot. If not, get another really good second in there. Guaranteeing that she only goes down one That's and brilliant. not a multiple. So there's a chance for Sarah to turn her own onto Jack and push it back. So, let's see what Shirley decides to do here. Pat Chorley saying, go the commentators, just saying, thanks for that. We get good support on this too, everyone seems to uh, <laughs> enjoy our product uh, from the 2023-24 Bowls New South Wales State Championships. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure bringing this to you. So, this hand has been the tighter hand. I'm not sure if she'll come back here. Right. She's obviously trying to get behind, so now... Sarah can Sarah can play onto her bowl and pick a weight. If Shirley gets behind, Sarah had to be more careful with weight. Yep. Is she Opportunity here for is, Sarah. Is Definitely. Sarah willing to play the play for the risk and turn her bowl over? The risk may be knocking it out and going one down. Let's find out. Saying good morning. Another great coverage. Thanks, mate. Just put the baked dinner on. Every Sunday, Rob has a baked dinner, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> She's missed a few because of bowls at Yamba, and <laughs> I'm still waiting for that invite, Robin. Yeah, what the heck? I might drive up to Yamba tonight. Let's go. Yeah, no, they have a baked dinner lunch. So, yeah, baked lunch. They do, so. Bit of a tradition, so. Sarah. It's a very aggressive line. So, she could be playing underneath here. Turn her own over, or if she's underneath, she gets Shirley, turns it over, a little oh, bit of jack perfect. back. Great bowl, Sarah Boddington. Absolutely perfect. Just what was needed. So, she's going to have a close look while we while we look at that again. Oh, well, no, that's not what I wanted to show you. Let's try this one. Four paddles go up by the marker, so... So, watch this bowl come down again. Perfect line, perfect weight. Just wanting to move Jack back, you know, a foot. Hits her own bowl and brings that just a few, just enough. And hits it out the side. Four shots. Shirley noticing how good a bowl that was. Acknowledged it as well. Great sportsmanship. Yep. So now we're back to 2017. Just what Sarah was wanting. <laughs> the changes come quick, don't they? You know, Shirley got that four earlier to break the gap open and, and Sarah's replied now. Game on. Very much. Energy's lifting in the commentary box too. Energy's lifting outside. <laughs> you can hear the applause going around. It's great. Not many people sitting outside, actually. Maybe it's a bit warm out there now. But a uh, big crowd inside against the windows. You can see some of the legs up there on the top of the screen, actually. Well, not only that, the big screen inside oh, yeah. is unbelievable to, to watch. I can't see it now because the... Uh, I think I've mentioned it quite a few times. You walk past it, you actually feel like you're on green. It's that bigger yeah. screen. <laughs> yeah, it's that yeah, high resolution too, so brilliant to see. Brilliant to watch. So Sarah, a little shorter than she'd want there, but usable. About a metre. So don't forget, once this match concludes, we'll be doing a very quick 
Swap over, moving cameras. Yep. Straight into the men's single semi final. I was scheduled for 11. I reckon we're getting close to schedule. Yeah, I think we think half an hour. Yep. They're pretty close to the end, so 2017. Five shots needed by Shirley, uh, eight by Sarah. Unless they start going one for one for one, we might be we'll be okay. And if not, that's all right. <laughs> super Sunday here. It is Super Sunday. Four games, singles finals. Definitely wasn't Super Saturday night. <laughs> it was uh, quite oh. sad last night watching my NRL team cop another flog. <laughs> <laughs> and a good mate who competed here, Corey Daly, sent me messages. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, these tigers got home when you've had a bad day. Oh, a bit unfortunate there from Cheryl Lee, and put it into a good position for Sarah. Yeah, I said it was usable, so Sarah <laughs> won't want direction. to be touching this bulk. That's a good setup. Wants to finish on the line here. Right. Don't leave anything jack high. So I've just been asked if we have updates on the scene. Is the answer is yes, we do. The scores are starting to come in. So what I'll do is I'll start looping the. Uh, the scores on the bottom right. Sarah. There we go. Just pull up there. Great bowl and counting. So two shots to Sarah. We're seeing a run here. Well, yeah. 20 all have been making it very, very interesting. Very, very tense for everyone involved. Yeah, so I've got, um, like I said, the scores are rolling around the bottom right now for the seniors and the re open reserve. Uh, keep an eye on that. We'll keep you updated verbally on the score on this game. As we go through. Okay. Shirley, just wanting this to come back now. Might be just a little bit over. She is, but gives her a cider. She can adjust back from that. Sarah will be not wanting anything Jack Eye here. Will be wanting something left on the line, whether it's in front or behind. Obviously wanting it to count. Oh, she'd be really wanting that to pull back harder and harder. Great shot. That is a brilliant setup there by Sarah Boddington. Three shots up and down the line. A little bit of a chance for Cheryl Lee to use that now. She's come down and seen that. It's sticking out just that half a bowl, so visually she's got something better to aim at. I think she's got two choices. She's going to come down on that, that hand, rest in there on that bowl, or... There's a one bowl target in the middle, and clobber Whack. that, and she's got a chance of doing everything and maybe killing the end. Jack hangs around a bit. She's uh, got enough bowls out there to cover, so we'll see what she's choosing. She has drawn well, Cheryl Lee. Mm. Agreed. So, very aggressive line. That tells me she's got a little bit of weight. Oh, goodness. Is it this. coming back? Is it coming back? Just misses. Three up to Sarah Bonington, takes it to 20 all. 20 all on this rink. What a turnaround. And this other, this other, the second semi final. <laughs> oh, good Lord, scammers everywhere here. Once again. There's some different scammers coming on, not the usual live stream ones. We've got some uh, uh, job seeker ones. Don't go. They're not offering you a real job. They're going to ask you to pay for it. Or it's an MLM or a... Uh, what's the wrong button? Just a scam anyway, or a pyramid scheme. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're just here for the bowls. Okay, so 20 all. <clears throat> what a turnaround. Yeah, massive. You know? Went from 13 all, 20 Shirley rat rattled off three ends in a row, out to 20 to 13. Botto's just put in th two brilliant ends. Who can hold the nerve? That's what it's going to come down to, down to. We know Sarah has the experience at this level. But we also know Cheryl Lee's played very, very well in this game. She'd be confident, you know. Yeah, look, 
She'd be disappointed in the last two ends, but happy with the first two, so <laughs> hopefully a fairly neutral yeah. feeling here at the moment. It's the momentum shifts, isn't it? Yeah. That, um, she's just got to run up a little bit further here. Yeah, pretty good start. Two foot short. Sarah's bowls about four foot past. Uh, Barbara Green just asking who the first uh, men's semi will be broadcasting. It will be Mark Wheatley from Wyong against Hayden Boykowski from East Maitland will be our uh, who we're broadcasting. Yes, haven't we been lucky today? Well, lucky in a sense, you know. We had Dawn Heyman put on a clinic and finish very, very quickly and we were able to bring you most of the second match of the women's um, single semi-finals. May not happen with the men's, as they both will be playing together. That's it. And uh, the other the other game is Ray Pierce versus Jay Bruce, and I reckon that's going to be brilliant. Oh. Jay Bruce playing a patient draw game, but Ray Pierce. So look at this end. Ray Pierce is one of the most skilled singles players going around. So, so somewhat erratic here from Sarah early on with the mm. first two, and and Cheryl Lee's got two. So adjustment needed. Very important here for Sarah to get one close, or there could be some number pressure. She needs to run up. It will swoop. Well, she's got second wood with that, so that'll be a bit of a sigh of relief. Has Shirley got the run here? Not quite. Yeah, they all, look, they've, it's a, they've it's all a, crossed the line. So, I'm is it getting wider out that way? The wind well, certainly isn't isn't a factor. I'm wondering if there's a couple of little nerves getting into the shoulders <laughs> of the ladies <laughs> as well. That's it, you know. Botto's probably got a little bit of adrenaline pumping after a couple of big ends, and surely might be a little bit nervous after dropping those two big ends. But anyway, Sarah's on a much better line here. Is she up enough? Yes, she is. Great, shot, Great Sarah bowl, Boddington. Sarah Boddington. Still yeah. room there for Cheryl Lee. Yep. Sarah's about three bowls short there. The applause coming in from behind us here in the club. Peter Ryan saying uh, good morning from the Philippines. Welcome, mate. Ah, great. I'm liking I'm liking Cheryl Lee's line here too. It's I'm just wait about the weight. Look, she wanted to give it a chance, just misses. But it's one to Sarah there. So Sarah Bonning to the first in into the hot seat, into the launch pad, diving board, diving board. Well, what did we say? <laughs> Check out. So yeah. she meaning she can win it in one end with a four. She's the first one there. However, Cheryl Lee is only one shot behind her on twenty, and. Uh, Still a very tense big game happening. Scores rolling in from around in the seniors. You'll keep seeing them. This game will end before they're ended, just because they started at 10 o'clock. Uh, they keep an eye on the end at Bowls Link, and the next uh, next game they'll start. They'll keep them rolling. Yeah, the first final, if you're just joining us, you can see uh, Dawn Heyman's had a, a really quite a big win over Louise Cronin, who played a good game, just came up against a legendary player at the top of a game. Clinical. Yeah. That's all that That's it was. was, yeah. <laughs> Myth, the mythology, the legend wow. surrounding uh, Dawny Heyman at the moment in bowl circles is enormous. Okay. Wants this to swing back harder. Pretty good start there by Sarah. Surely you're going to be wanting to match Sarah early on. So Sarah's had a bit of a run now of three ends in a row. So really wanting to put the brakes on this now. And Oh, yeah. Just went through. Got the shot, probably. But even if she hasn't. Jeez, it hooked. It's a great start. Yeah, that side's really coming yeah. home. I think this top of the surface is drying out now. That's what I think too. I think the 
just that little breeze plus the direct sunlight is really bringing this uh, green to life as far as the bowls go. Okay, how's the weight here for Sarah? Yes, very, very good. One there at least. About a foot short. Cheryl Lee only wanting to lose about a foot herself here to count. She's out on a good line again, but... Yep. Well, they hook late, these things. They do hook late. Close. Sarah's still holding. You can see on the left there, Cheryl Lee's husband, Doug Stewart. I think that's Wana from St George's Basin there too, by the way. Wana Bedford. Okay, Sarah. Really finding the line here. Might not Wants be. to pull all the way back to Jack. Asking it to come in. Well, a little bit of a target, but two shots it is. So, Shirley not mucking around here. Already knows what she wants to play. Split. <laughs> That's right. where I'd be, but no, she's drawing. Slightly aggressive line. I've seen him really swoop there, but she hasn't quite got the weight. No, you want to hit them, you want to hit them hard. So, I think Sarah's going to be looking to try and match the two purples at the back. Try and get one in front of them. She's got one behind them, but if she can get one in front of that back purple, she can probably count as well mm. and have good position. Yeah, she might want to rest another one and make a bigger target it's, in the front. Again, it's about putting the number pressure back on the opponent, making them come up with the goods. We haven't seen Cheryl Lee have a big weighted shot in this game yet. We have seen Sarah do a couple. Yeah, but by reputation, she does. She can do it. I haven't seen it personally, uh, but yeah. yeah, by reputation. Because Sarah's looking at that and going, if there's a split there, Cheryl Lee's got the next three herself. Yeah. So very important bowl here for Sarah. She wants to get inside of that. Oh, bouncing it across is not oh, helpful. Oh, all right. Decision time here. I think Cheryl Lee has to go for the split here. Gets the clean split. She could come through on the jack herself, but she's got three set three thirds, sorry, I should say. Yep, nice aggressive, aggressive line, line on the backhand. Not huge. No, I won't turn <coughs> on this, that hand. This hand isn't turning. So she's missed wide. Sarah just ducks down and do her shoelaces up what she's said. Good opportunities. Good intention. So we'll see Sarah go out to a 23 to 20 lead now. Yeah. Oh, geez. This is my recalcitrant camera three. Oh. Well, just woken up. <coughs> just reset itself by the looks. I was trying to get you a better view of that and it just went black. Okay, five ends in a row now for Sarah. Oh, there it goes again. So we see that Sarah really under the pump score wise has knuckled down. Given her bowls more chances, been more effective, and starting to get the results. And that's just a bit of experience at this level coming out of Sarah. So, Cheryl Lee, really love to get one close here. Get back into that zone that she was earlier in the game, where she was really nailing her first and second bowls and really putting Sarah under the pump to get in the position she was. A lot of turn. You can actually see, just see the tracks yep. of the bowls as they come down there. You can see the arc they're taking. They're playing pretty similar length every time, so there's no uh, real change. But, yeah, just a little more width needed here to get to the jack. Cracking game. I'm liking this area. This is where they need, they're coming from. 
Well, that's the number one. Right Without down. A shadow of a doubt, number one. Great bowl, Sarah. So, Shirley needing some adjustment. She's swapping hands here. So, we know it's a tighter hand. She probably can see that that's a good guide just underneath her, her bowl. Oh, I think she's wide, though. Yep, wide. It'll be back. She's put a bit of weight on there. Yep. She was actually just looking to move her own bowl in. It's still drawing is the key here at this point. Still a lot of space. You can get sucked into that kind of thing. You start thinking about trick shots and... Yeah, trying to get numbers yourself, you know. Sarah's yeah. only two away. You're five. You're thinking, oh, I need to catch up to her, but... In all honesty, it's just about win in the end. That's right. It's you, just, know? you think about Lambert yesterday. Well, limit limit the damage. Only let Sarah get one and go to another end. So Sarah's setting up very, very well here. At the moment, holding game. Yeah, you look at Lambert yesterday, just did it with ones. Just kept the head, kept the mat, every end. And uh, overcame an 11-shot deficit go. by winning 11 shots in 11 out of the last 12 ends. All right. Shirley got a better line here. Let's see how her weight is. No, not good. Just a bit shy. So I'd like Sarah to swap here and play Shirley's shot. Don't know if she will. Uh, she has been drawing well on that back end. Yep. I just thought she could really put Shirley under the pump by playing the only shot that Shirley's got there. Yeah, I think she's enjoying the wider hand. I, I agree with you. I think that shot's on, yep. but I don't think Once there's again, any harm in doing this. No, definitely not. She's obviously comfortable there, but... And look at this. And this is why she stayed there. Yeah. Game well, down, Cheryl Lee. Big bowl. This could be the final final bowl of the game. Or she nails it and gets... Uh, and we continue, but... It's definitely two down, so... Yeah. It's, yeah. Maybe she's asking if it is... It might be three down, so... If she three, thinks she's got matter. third wood, is she thinking of having a go at the two bowls of Sarah's there near each other? I'm not sure. She's lining up pretty straight. Aggressive. Aggressive. Don't turn that hand, so we'll see what happens. She's got her own coming in. Yep. Not overly aggressive. It's enough to turn, oh, so... Oh, wants any touch on anything. Oh, just went through. What a great effort, though, by Shirley Stewart. She really made Sarah work there, but... Congratulations, Sarah Boddington. Yep, there's our second uh, second finalist for this afternoon in the women's state singles uh, for the 2023-24 state championship. Sarah Boddington against Dawn Heyman this afternoon in a blockbuster match. Yeah, that'll be a great game. Uh, well done, Shirley uh, Tamworth. Take your hat off to Shirley. She played a really good game. Mate, we're going to take off and move some cameras. Yeah. This is going to be pretty quick. So uh, we've got about ten minutes, maybe a little more. Until the uh, men start, but well done, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. Every single one of you, we'll see you shortly for a new stream and the men's semi-final. Uh, thanks, Jason. We'll see you then. Sure will.